Welcome back. Sasha DeJulian is the most decorated female rock climber in the entire world. She's a philanthropist, an entrepreneur, and an author. Her book, Take the Lead, Hanging On, Letting Go, and Conquering Life's Hardest Climbs, shows the world what it's like to be a woman constantly pushing the boundaries of what most thought possible. So happy to have you here on Lift Off, Sasha. Thanks so much for having me today. It's a pleasure to be on your show. Now, Sasha, you started rock climbing at six years old. Uh, that sounds kind of insane to me. How the heck does one start rock climbing so young? I started climbing after my brother's birthday party at a local climbing gym. So yeah, it was 1998. I was six years old. I really loved going up on the wall. I joined the local junior team, which was just a kind of ragtag team that met Wednesdays and Saturday mornings at the climbing gym. And then when I was seven, I walked into the gym for junior team practice. There was a competition being held. That's how I literally stumbled upon the world of competition climbing. And then from there, the rest is kind of an accelerated history of a lot of competitions, early success in the junior category to then competing for the adult U.S. team by the time I was 16 and winning the world championships at 18 and um, so on to transitioning more to outdoor climbing and doing big free ascents around the world to what I do now. Now, Sasha, how are you working to inspire the next generation of climbers? Sure. I've really had this privilege of a platform through my career in climbing. And now I stand on the board of the Women's Sports Foundation, as well as Ascend Athletics. Um, and I work with Protect Our Winters and Right to Play International, as well as Up to Us Sports. And these programs are really using the transformative skills of both climbing and also sport in general to empower the lives of today's youth and the future leaders. Um, I really believe in the fact that sport has taught me how to find confidence in my own life, how to have these life skills of setting goals, working hard, dealing with failure, and then getting back up and trying again. And so through working with these different nonprofits, it brings me a lot of purpose because I think that it's one thing, you know, for us as athletes to have these platforms of an audience, but when you have that platform, what really makes me feel like I have a purpose is by using it to push forward things that I believe in. Um, and, and that includes, you know, youth participation in sport and also access in general to sports and taking care of our environment. I know our viewers want to know what are the key takeaways from your book when it comes to leading and being in the spotlight? Mm -hmm. The book really centers around finding your passion, figuring out how to make that passion something that you can pursue in your life, owning who you are, and crafting your own voice. And so I hope that the people, whoever's listening, who reads my book, really gets a sense of empowerment and a sense of, I can do this if I just try. Um, and then there's obvious points of failure. There's ups and downs and how to get through those tough times as well. Well, Sasha, it was truly a pleasure having you on. And I'm a little less afraid of heights now, thanks to you. Thank you so much for having me. And that is it today here on Lift Up. Robert, you rocked it. Get it? Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited. I've been waiting the whole episode for that. It was such a pleasure having you on. But tell us what's next. Well, there's this little thing called Ruse the TV series, um, which is about to go into production. And obviously, that is just, I'm over the moon about it. Um, to see my book translate to the screen is something beyond my wildest dreams. Well, I want updates every single step of the way. Well, how about if we get you a part, right? You know, we'll have you be like, you know, okay. secret spy number two. I want to be secret spy number one. That's me. Oh, oh. <laughs> done. Can I be secret spy girl number one? Yes. Okay, done, so done, done. Okay, done. Yeah. All right, everybody, you saw, we agreed on camera. So stay tuned to everything that Robert's got going on. And also stay tuned here on Lift Off by following us on social and seeing us next time. The proceeding was sponsored by Liftoff Enterprises, LLC.